I've been hearing this history of uh, Jim Henson or whatever his name is. Um, like the history of his stuff. Um, like uh, Muppets and from the Muppets, the Sesame Street, Fraggle Rock. Like, I've, you know, honestly, I've never really, growing up, I never really watched much of it. The only thing I can remember seeing as a kid, for sure, is, of, out of any of the shows, the only thing I remember is the Muppet Babies. That's the only thing I can remember watching. Would you go over the flame? <laughs> Um, let's see, but yeah, that's, that's the only thing I really remember was, uh, the Muppet Babies. Um, watching of any of his stuff. Uh, and that was the 80s, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, some of it were in the 90s, but I was born in 94. I guess I watched just the older episodes. <sighs> well, it's like I said in one of the previous parts, ladies and gentlemen. This is the least frustrating of the of all the Jack and Daxter games, but I didn't say it was without any frustrating moments. I said least, not, oh, there's no frustrating moments. Frustration. Maybe, maybe there's a word out there called uh, funstration, where it's frustrating but fun. It's fun but frustrating. And that's how. I'd, that's one word I would use to describe the Jack and Daxter series overall. Is if that's a word, uh, funstration. This sounds really dumb, I know, because I just came up with it. If anyone else got the yeah, uh, okay. Anyway, uh, so then, um, yeah, good. Just don't come to me then, little green things. Well, I need to start fast forwarding here soon, don't I, ladies and gentlemen? I need to do that. So how about that Mario 64 DS? How about the fact that it's actually a really good, it's actually a lot better than the N64 version. Well, sort of better than the N64 version. It is... Yeah, the trade-off is you have to use the D-pad, but people act like that's the worst thing in the world when really... You get used to it fast. When you actually sit there and play it, you get used to it. And I don't know if the Sega learning curve applies to it or not, but if you if you don't know what the Sega learning curve is, it's basically the more you play a game, even if you repeat stuff, the more you play it, the better it gets. You learn things, and then it just gets really good. That's how Sonic is. That's how most Sonic games are. Um, most Sonic games, yeah, they're they're not quite as accessible as Mario. But once you get used to playing them more, or once you play it more and learn more about stuff, you, you know, like it's pretty good. And look, there's the last crystal. I'm just going to get some of these orbs real quick. These not eggs. Eh, they're orbs. They can be considered orbs. I just got that generic egg look to them. Is all I gotta say. Um, like, really, there's all kinds of shapes of eggs. You just that's just one of the most common. It's like this Easter egg look to them. Or maybe I'm just thinking of Easter eggs, and that's just the iconic look of an egg. 
There we go. Got that one while I'm here. go straight over here and talk to the guy and the mission will be complete. I'll get my power cell now. <laughs> oh, look, this guy's still alive. I think there's a thing. Looks like you've got another date with Betsy. Don't worry. I have her fixed up. Now you need to go finish the job in Breezy Valley. Alright then. It's like people are slightly nicer in this game than in Jack 2, but that's because Jack 2 is supposed to be edgier. It's so like at this point, it doesn't seem as depressing as in Jack 2. This one makes it seem like, oh, the city's just kind of, you know, whatever. Common city. Common city stuff. Bear stuff. So, um, wee. Uh, it just gets really quiet. Guess, you, guess you're not going to say anything. <laughs> you know what? Let's go check out uh, the this place real quick before I do that mission. Do I have... Yes, I have a couple more unlocked. <laughs> This one is Braveheart. So I'm trying to remember how you're supposed to do this. Oh yeah. The buttons that are vaguely there. are optional, they're just really helpful when you get the extra moves and stuff. 
Uh, you gotta hit him in the right order or else you're, you're doomed. Sometimes it's hard to tell what came out first. What comes first. No! <laughs> You pressing the wrong buttons. Ah! Like it's it's. Uh, I wish they would just let you press the buttons in any order as long as they come out, as long as they're there. But no, you gotta press them in the right order or it's not gonna count. This is retarded. Just getting the mic over to me more. I just realized it was not. Some of the buttons look like other buttons. As they're there. Okay, well, I won. I got reached the goal, so that's all that matters. Got another one to do. I don't remember what you exactly get for doing the others other than the trophies. I think this one's supposed to be Macbeth? I don't... Lord of the Rings? I don't remember. might be Lord of the Rings. I never really watched much of Lord of the Rings, so I don't know for sure.
Yeah, some of them go a little faster than others. What? Yeah, some some of them they give you hardly any reaction time. some more jack moves. <laughs> so let's take old Bessie out again. Betsy. Let's try to remember what this one is again. Oh yeah, you gotta take care of these things. These are like the things, but they move. The flyers, but they move. <laughs> 